you guys it's bolt 98 and in this video we're going to be talking about season 6 modern warfare 2 let's hop right into the content That is right, you guys. We are back to posting daily content on Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3 news and leaks. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start talking about some of this content. So obviously we know Halloween's right around the corner, and that is what Season 6 is going to be targeted around with the addition to Spawn and many other crossovers that we might talk about here, but we've talked about previously. Operation Nightmare is a go. Von Dead is also coming. Zombie Royale will be back for both maps and then Lockdown Returns along with other worldly, worldly loot sorry, and events. So obviously this is going to be a normal season, but it's going to be strictly based on Halloween. We obviously hear the things about Von Dead um, coming back, Lockdown coming back, and Zombie Mode coming back for both maps. Both being Almazra and Vondel. So this is going to be super cool. I can't wait to see how they really inter interchange everything. I feel like all these modes are going to be super cool. And uh, I'll definitely have to hop in Warzone. I have not probably played but maybe 30 minutes in Warzone. But for this, I will be hopping. There. The talks of this, we're obviously getting Lockdown back, which was a Season 4 mode known that is an objective-based Battle Royale mode that requires teams to bring in their custom loadouts from the drop, staying close and gaining points by capturing and holding zones around around the map like a large scale version of the multiplayer mode hardpoint this time however prepare to play under a moonlit nighttime variant of Vondale yes so this is kind of an image from that we will be getting moonlit Vondale basically a nighttime version of Vondale we will also be getting a nighttime version of Almazra and so I cannot wait to see what all is coming in the form of everything but yes we will be getting more in the terms of Vondell and Von Dead, but we're also getting some things coming to Warzone. But this is another thing to Vondell, which are demonic altars. They have also been erected around Von Dead, seemingly a source of power for these activities that and linked in some way to the a feared entity known in the myth and legend as the Butcher. Have you the skill and metal to summon the Hulk and Demon, descend into the underworld to face him in battle and reap the rewards if you can dare defeat him? So apparently you will be able to transfer from the top world to the underworld in this new Vondell mode, which will be super cool to see. We want to know more about DMZ since this is the last big update that is coming to DMZ before it's canceled. Well, apparently for season six, DMZ focuses on the nighttime hunts for natural entities across the world. Zone of Almazra. Prep your team accordingly, as without the pressure of a collapsing circle of gas, DMZ is the ideal mode for obtaining intel on, tracking down, and finally neutralizing monstrous entities from beyond this world. So apparently, this is the mode that you want to go to so you can do challenges such as killing zombies or other type of monstrous monsters that we're going to have through DMZ and Warzone. For are you cool core multiplayer guys? We are also going to be getting a haunted kill confirm slash grind. We'll get a haunted drop zone that drops scares. And you'll also be getting a haunted infected. All these coming mid season, but they are going to be using these modes but changing them around. Like for kill and confirm, instead of getting dog tags, you'll collect skulls. And in, in drop scares, you'll earn points by holding the drop zone, but who knows what might jump out at you. So apparently they're going to be jump scares such as like zombies jumping randomly or even deeper than that. So we are getting an event with a camo and everything, but we are also getting some soul captures, kind of like what we did with the skulls. Now you will be capturing souls across Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty Warzone. Basically, you get this from killing people and doing other challenges, just similar to the trophy hunt event from Season 3. Available across all game modes, any time a player is eliminated, they leave a soul behind, collect these souls, which are automatically added to your total in all game modes. Meaning that there's no need to visit buy stations in Call of Duty Warzone or DMZ this time and trade them in for items in the the events tab now you can just get them from getting your kills and going to get that soul and then when you get out of your match whether it's dmz warzone or a core multiplayer map you will now obviously be able to hold those into your inventory and redeem them from your home screen so obviously with the bringing of season six like we've had with every other season we are getting a black cell version yes yeah, so black cell is coming with season six and this one we are getting valeria uh, a skin that is basically a hybrid machine built for conflict. A modern marvel of biological and mechanical components partner with their state-of-art battle system. Valora features semi-transparent skin revealing the inner skeleton as well as robotic voice lines for 
full technical immersion. This one will obviously be available for $30. She also comes with a pet, like our last one, known as Megabyte. So you'll obviously get this and a finishing move for Megabyte. And it looks cool. I, I guess they decided this time they were going to stick with the see-through. Like last time we got the see-through TAC-56. This time they went and gave us an operator that you can see through and see her bones plus more about like the technical spots of her since she is a person slash a robot i was hoping for something a little bit more halloween theme but this will do let me know what you guys think of this video let me know of anything quality and everything let me know down below what you guys think i cannot wait to get back to our daily upload streak and i know this video was pretty short or pretty long if you're used to my channel videos are usually four minutes but I probably mumbered a lot during this one because it's been so long since I did this. So please forgive me. I hope you enjoyed. Slap the sub. Slap the like. Share the video if you think it deserved it. Leave any feedback down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.